Hi everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. Um, it's to do with spines, but not any spines. Spines for the Marvel TV stuff and the sort of Disney Star Wars TV stuff. The bootlegs that I have. Um, let's, let's get into it and the reason why. So basically, one of my commenters, Beta464, he's asked me how the spines look on these sort of bootleg um, releases that I've got. I shouldn't call them releases, they're not releases. Um, so I said that I would do a video taking a look and thusly that's what I'm going to do. Because obviously with things like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. you had a season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then nothing more. Um, so six and seven, season six and seven, never got for you, uh, a release. The Marvel Netflix stuff, you had some, then never fit the releases stopped. Um, Star Wars, Clone Wars, you got up to Lost Missions, but the final season, um, never been released. And and the same with like the Marvel Disney stuff, and the Star Wars Disney stuff. Now I will say that I'm not a fan of um, bootleg titles. Um, I don't go out of my way to get bootleg titles with the exception of this Marvel and DC stuff. Because as much as it annoys me that I have to resort to boot bootleg, it annoys me more that I can't get them originally. I want them on original, and if I can't get them that way, I will get them the other way. Now, when they first come out, I do watch them on um, Disney+. Plus. I do subscribe to Disney+, Plus and I watch them when they're released. And um, yeah, like Boba Fett, I reviewed on every, every Wednesday as it came out. Um, so in that respect, I am watching them legitimately. Um, however, when I do get these, they are for my own purpose. I will state that. Um, and I don't make no money on them. I don't sell them. I don't produce them or anything like that. I just get them for my own personal use. So think of that what you will, whether you agree, whether you disagree. Uh, that's fine. Maybe we can have a friendly conversation about that down below. But um, if they were ever released legitimately then I'd be the first person in line to buy all of the Disney stuff Marvel um, Star Wars I would be there getting it and replacing these with it um, but yeah there we go but anyway let's let's get into taking a look at these spines but before I do hit subscribe button hit the notification bell keep yourself apprised of upcoming content leave me a comment down below on this subject if you so wish I'd like to have a chat um, but let's go and take a look Okay, so I'm going to switch on the light so it's a bit brighter in here so we can actually see what we're looking at. So as you can see here, I have all the MCU titles on original um, and I do have them on 4K Steelbooks as well, um, which I will just quickly show as I go around. Um, they're all there. As you can see, all that there is MCU still book up until you get to about Venom right there. Okay, so there we go. Oops, stepped over that Enterprise right there. So here we go. So here's the spines for the Marvel films. Okay, um, yes, that's my little Knight Rider up there. Um, which will open the door. It goes like that. And I thought, I should, uh, why not show some other bits while I'm going around? Um, and my Back to the Future card, it lights up. But anyway, back to the spine. So here's all the original sort of spine work for the sort of Blu-rays and 3D versions of um, the MCU stuff that I have up to Black Widow, Shang-Chi. Um, the others that come after this are on Steelbook. Um, but yes, yeah, so first of all, here we go. Here's the Marvel TV stuff, as you can see. Um, WandaVision, Captain America, Falcon, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Moon Knight. Now, yeah, we have WandaVision there. That's the exclusive fan edit version of the film. Um, and we have WandaVision Season 1. Then we move on to Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like so. And Loki. What If, Season 1. And... Hawkeye and Moon Knight. Now I do have several sleeves for Moon Knight because um, I was unsure what one I really wanted. Um, but yeah, so as you can see the spines there, um, which are all different, 
but they work. So moving on to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. As you can see, I do have Agent Carter and all the first four seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Five seasons on original DVD. Blu-ray, sorry. So obviously I wanted the next two. Now the next two I got like this. So they don't match up, no. They, um, but they sort of match one another in that they're like that. Um, does that bother me? No, it might bother some people, but to be honest, I, that, that doesn't affect me in any way, shape or form. So yeah, so that's okay there for me. Right, then moving down here, obviously we have um, all Marvel stuff. Um, like I said, all original. Moving on to the X-Men and stuff like that. Um, and then we come to Daredevil, Jessica Jones. Now, these are ones that I need to complete, really, the one where they didn't finish these off. But I didn't really revisit them. But I do have Punisher Seasons 1 and 2 there. And Modoc and Hitmonkey, which are their own respective things. But Punisher Season 1 and 2... Um, I like so and they sort of match with the um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff if they're done in a similar way so yeah um, that's that now if I move along some more um, characters there then we come up to Star Wars okay so we have your Star Wars films, and I do have the Star Wars films all on 4K as well. They're downstairs. Um, and then we come to the Star Wars TV stuff. So at the moment, all you've had is Mandalorian, Mandalorian Season 2, and Boba Fett, um, for the most part. We'll come on to that. So that's Mandalorian Season 1 with its spine there. Mandalorian Season 2 with its spine there. And Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. So again, the spines don't really match, but again, that's, it don't bother me, doesn't bother me. And then we have here um, Clone Wars, as you can see, film, season one, season two, season three, season four, season five. Um, the Lost Missions there, all original. And then um, we have, oh, I've got these all the way around. Then we have the final season of Clone Wars, the Bad Batch, which sits there. And to be fair, don't look too bad against the others. And then we have the Bad Batch, season one, there. But like I said, all stuff that I would replace if they ever came out legitimately. But I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Um, so there we have it. Yeah, just some bits up there. So, let's step over this massive enterprise again. So there we have it. There we have a look at the spines and, and the spine issue um, revolved around getting um, bootleg titles for the stuff that isn't available. Um, I would like to say that everything else there that you can see is um, legitimate. Um, I'm just getting those bits that I want. Um, so like I said, if they make them available, I'll go out and buy them so yeah but anyway so you saw the spines there some of the spines differ some don't some work some don't but that doesn't really bother me they're on the shelf um, they get lost in a sea of spines anyway um, and I'm not that hung up on it at the end of the day um, if, if I can watch them that way then I'm happy um, so that's fantastic but yeah so there you go um, but the good thing is if you knew someone who can make covers um, if you know someone um, or if you can get the get the program yourself on the computer, you can easily create your own cover artwork for um, these releases and match the spines up easy enough. So easily done. Anyway, that was it. That was just that video. Um, so thank you for asking me that question. It's always nice to have a bit of activity on the channel. Um, people coming forward with questions about stuff. I'm always happy to answer. And if I need to do pictures or a video to answer the question, then so be it. Like in this case, I couldn't have done it um, just verbally or in message. Um, but there you go. Anyway, so this is AJ. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, um, leave a comment, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care all. Goodbye.